Let me pray. Father, we thank you for the word tonight. We thank you for the atmosphere of the spirit that's in this place and online that you are activating people in the prophetic. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. All right, if you have a Bible, I want you to go to 1 Corinthians 14, 3. I'm just going to stay in this for just a moment. Katie Ann Carmen on Facebook, your first time watching. We're glad to have you. God bless you. Uh, go to 1 Corinthians 14, 3. Uh, when we do prophetic activation, there are two different dimensions or, or realms that we commonly deal with with prophecy there is uh foretelling and forth telling the difference being this is that one is is futuristic so if i go to desmond and say desmond the lord shows me you're going to have a new opportunity that's going to come to you within the next six months that is a predictive prophetic word and oftentimes when we deal with prophetic activation people get offended or misunderstand because they think we're trying to teach people how to predict the future that's not what we're doing that is a realm of the prophetic that is a very unique realm of the prophetic it's an important realm of the prophetic we know in the journey of Paul God sent prophets to prophesy you're going to be bound in Jerusalem we know that throughout the ages from uh, the very beginning of time until the end of time there will always be prophetic words that foretell the future but then there is the forth telling which is the bubbling up and that's what we're focusing on tonight we call this the simple gift of prophecy we're not trying to prophesy if you're single when you're going to get married we're not trying to prophesy uh, if you, you, you want to have a baby, when you're going to have a baby, we are trying to tap into the simple gift of prophecy. And many of you that have been in an activation, you've done it, you understand this. Those of you that are online, there's two ways we're going to activate you. I'm going to give you some assignments, but it's going to be different than what we do in the building because it'd be a little hard. But also, as you watch this service and share it with your friends, I believe that, that activation is atmospheric. I never will forget I was preaching uh, in Los Angeles, California years ago and there was a prophet who would call out phone numbers and call out uh, social security numbers and I interviewed the prophet for, in a video segment. That's all I did. He never prayed for me, never laid hands on me, but I left that interview and was preaching the next day in a night service and when I got up to preach, I just kept getting word after word after word. I remember prophesying over a filmmaker and prophesying and I wasn't having to who is that? It was like the Lord would say, it's her. And this is what she's going to do. And I recognize that being in that atmosphere activated my spiritual sight, my spiritual ears. So that's what we're contending for tonight. Now, 1 Corinthians 14, 3 said, he that prophesies speaketh unto men. Three things, edification, exhortation, and comfort. So edification means to build up. So he that prophesies speaks unto men, edification, or building up. If I go to Ricky and say, Ricky, I feel like the Lord said he's going to use you in a greater way in preaching. I may not have given him a date. I may not have given him a time, but I've encouraged him. I've built him up. Amen. So edification is to build up. Put the scripture back up, if you would, on the screen. And then to exhort is to encourage. If you guys can get 1 Corinthians 14, 3 back for me. Thank you. It, it is to encourage. He that prophesies speaks edification and exhortation. Keep it up, please, till I'm done. To encourage. Now, one thing about prophesying to people, and, and prophets have some leeway in this because prophet, prophets are in an office, but believers are in a function. It's two different things. But as a believer that is prophesying, what you don't want to do is you don't want to prophesy what you don't understand to people. So if I just come up and say, you know, my sister on the front row, I saw you riding on a white horse through a field. And she said, what does that mean? I said, I don't know. That, that's not going to encourage her because I don't have understanding. Now, there can be times and there will be times. That God will show you things you don't have to understand. I was doing a prophetic activation in Amarillo, Texas. I think it was Amarillo. It was somewhere in Texas. I was doing a prophetic activation, and, and a young boy, young teenage boy, had never prophesied before. And he took uh, the hands of the person he was activating with, and I said, just ask God for a picture. And he opened his eyes and said, I just saw one thing, hand. Well, the man he was prophesying to, his last name was Hand, and he was a chiropractor. I said, you got like a, a, you hit a grand slam on your first prophetic word, amen? 
It was encouraging. There are times you may not have the full understanding, but what you do when you're prophesying, if God gives you a strange word for someone, you begin to ask the Lord. See, there's a word of knowledge, which is a revelation of a current situation or circumstance, but then you ask God for a word of wisdom. Lord, what does this mean? We need revelation and wisdom together. And then he said, it brings comfort unto men. Now understand this, when we're prophesying as believers, we are prophesying to men. So if they don't understand us, when I first uh, got around prophetic people in the, maybe in the 90s, many of the prophetic people prophesied I lived like this. Thus saith the Lord, thou is being called unto a place, and they would prophesy King James. So if you came in and you just got saved last week, you didn't understand sometimes what people were prophesying. I remember one time I did an activation, and I, act, I usually activate with biblical principles, but I activated, uh, I activated with cartoon characters. Because I wanted to say, if you just got saved last week, and you don't know a bunch of Bible characters, but you know Superman and Batman and Wonder Woman and all those things, you can prophesy and exhort and edify and comfort. Again, you're not predicting you're going to get married here. You're going to preach your first sermon here. Once you get in the prophetic realm, that may happen to you. But the, I'm saying that we're trying to tap the mind of God to strengthen and encourage his people. And you, would, there was, I remember I was in an activation. We were doing uh, those cartoon characters. And there was a lady that... Uh, you know, she, I don't know how to say it. I'm going to get myself in trouble now. I've stepped into it. Let's say it this way. Somebody said, I see SpongeBob SquarePants. And what was so awful about it is it kind of, she kind of looked like the character. And I said, my God, this is the worst activation. How are we going to pull this out now? And do you know someone in the audience jumped up and said, the Lord said you're like a sponge. You're soaking up his word. You're so passionate. I said, oh, taraba, sandarabaya. Thank you, God. Because I thought we were about to shipwreck. So when we prophesy, you can take the scripture down, guys. When we prophesy, it's important that we know uh, how to say what we see. I was doing an activation, and I pulled up a leader. This lady was a pastor, and somebody stood up and said, I see depression on you. And as soon as they said that word come out of their mouth, I saw the lady, all the color drained out of her face. And I sh her block went up, and I knew it wasn't what they were seeing. It was how they were saying what they were seeing. A lot of times when you're prophesying, you will see those things. But understand this, if a person doesn't trust you, and you go up to them and say certain things in a certain way, they're going to shut down. So what, what I would have said, I would have said this. I would have said, I see a spiritual attack coming against you and trying to affect your emotions. But the Lord says he's going to strengthen you. Now, when you see something like that, you want to ask God, God, I see the problem. But what? remember, the, that well, scripture is not about problems. There is a realm a forth telling prophecy that is about problems. Listen, I preached at a church one time, and I'm preaching away. I wrote about this, the ebook I wrote, Help My Church as a Demon. Not only did I preach there, I should just be honest, I was on staff at that particular church. And I was preaching, and I looked up, they had a black ceiling, and I looked up, and there was a demon in the ceiling. And I said, I bind, and the Spirit of the Lord says, Stop it. You don't have authorization to bind this spirit. I said, why, Lord? He said, because spirits move according to authority, and the authority of the house has let this spirit be in the house. Not only that, but God said, this spirit is going to destroy this church. This church is going to be ripped apart bit by bit and piece by piece. And God said, but you can't tell anyone, take the concern to the pastor. And God told me how to bring, I didn't say, the Lord said your church is going to be poor. I didn't say that because God didn't tell me to say that. I said what the Lord told me to say. And then God said, now you begin to make your exit plans. But I was at that church many months past that point, but I knew the end of the thing. And, and when I left that church some years later, it got ripped apart bit by bit it came out that the, the missions pastor was wife swapping with one of the other pastors and uh, people were having affairs and there was crazy stuff going on and the devil ripped that thing apart but God taught me how to move through the wisdom of God sometimes how you say a thing is important if you're prophesying to a leader like if God ever takes you to preach itinerant 
You know, they used to, the people who trained me taught me this. When you go to a church, leave it better than when you came. I had one of the guys in our network, a lady come to preach for him and got up and told all the musicians, y'all are not anointed, told the singers, you're not anointed, and began to rebuke them. And I told him, don't let people come into your church and do that. I had a man one time. Now, if you upset me, you get some stuff. But if you upset my wife, you get another side. And we had a guy that rebuked a, a young autistic man in a church we, we pastored at the time. And my wife went and found the preacher. And my wife told him, that's not right. Da, 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 da. And the guy got into talking ugly to my wife. And I said, get your stuff and get out of my church. And don't you ever come back. And I threw him out. Because of the spirit that he had on him. So you have to have wisdom in how you operate. He could have operated in that situation differently. So when you prophesy to leaders, you've got to be careful. That man came and tore our church up. The, the, the guy in my network, the lady tore his church up. When you travel and preach, you don't prophesy over the pastor. God says you have demons. If the Lord says that to you, ask the Lord, what am I supposed to say? Many times the Lord will give you opportunity to share a word of warning in private. Prophets don't have to prophesy everything on the mic. I had a church that I was in relationship with, and they had a guest speaker in, and the guest speaker stood up a young man. Everybody in the church knew the young man had a struggle. You didn't have to have a gifts of the Spirit or word of wisdom. And that's another thing. What you see is not a prophecy. What you feel is not a prophecy. So one thing we do, we go, well, I just feel heaviness. That doesn't mean that's the word of the Lord. And you may be spiritually feeling heaviness. And you may, because you have eyes and ears in the spirit, you may be picking that up. But it doesn't mean you're to prophesy. And so the prophet called up the young man and just said absolutely horrific things to him on the microphone. He could have said all of that off the microphone. The young man backslid, left the church, had a bunch of problems. And that prophet came back to that church and did the whole thing with another person over over again while the pastor let them because of the name that was on the prophet I don't care what your name is I don't care how traveled you are how well known you are you won't come into my meeting and intimidate and bully my people and treat them like that because that is not a right or proper ethics and most of these prophets if somebody prophesied to them the way they're prophesying to people's sons and daughters and husbands and wives they would go out the building crying but because they got a microphone there's nothing worse than an ego maniac with a microphone so we don't we don't have to say certain things on a microphone you have sex demons we don't have to say that on the microphone if God tells us to say that listen pray before you say okay pray before you say so you have to have wisdom tonight when we begin to activate don't tell somebody you got depression on your life if you see that now, we're probably not going to do any activations where that would even be appropriate, but I still want to give you some help. If you see that, if I saw that on Gary, you no, know, it's a bad example because I'm one of his leaders, but let's say I wasn't, and I just walk up, oh, Gary, the Lord says you're depressed. If he has any ego or pride, he may resist what I'm saying because of how I'm saying it. But if I come up and say, brother, you know, I just really sense that the enemy's fighting you. He's trying to make you feel heavy. He's trying to overwhelm you. And God wants to encourage you. And while I'm saying that, I'm asking Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, what do you say about this problem? And then I start prophesying the solution. He's probably going to receive it. Same message, delivery is different. Are you all watching that? So how we deliver prophetic words will increase people's receptivity. So respect protocol. A lot of times when I train prophets, they'll go to a church. They don't know the church. I, I used to have a pastor friend, and I don't know why he did it this way, but this is the way he did it. He would let no more than three prophecies in a service. I don't I mean, I don't know. I think it's taking that scripture very literal. But I would not go to his church and jump up on, after the third prophecy, say, I got a word, because I know. Now, I could say, well, it's religious. It's, it's not my protocol. It's not what I agree with, but I'm not the governor of that house. And a lot of times people don't learn protocols in places they're at. I was telling somebody asked me about traveling the nations. I said, I remember when I preached in India, they said, our culture is you take off your shoes when you preach. Well, the problem for me was there was all kind of disease and dirt and stuff. And I said, the culture where I come from is you wear shoes when you preach. 
And they really got stirred about that. So I started praying. Before I went on the trip, the Holy Ghost had said to me, pack your white shoes. And I learned while I was in India that white, that they revere the color white as a color of holiness and purity. So I came to church one night with white shirt, white pants, white socks, and my white shoes. And I said, I feel like the Lord has told me and encouraged me to come as an ambassador of holiness and to wear these shoes while I preach. Is that good with you? They said, that's good with me. I understood the protocol. So learning prophetic protocol, every place operates differently. Not everybody does prophetic worship. And you're worshiping, you get up and start saying, the Lord says healing people. Some people are going to shut you down because that's not their protocol. So th there are three different areas I want to focus on quickly on receiving prophetic communication. And just write these scriptures down real quick. Your spiritual eyes, Paul prayed in Ephesians 1, that the eyes of our inner man or the eyes of our heart would be open. So we know eyes deal with vision. We can see things. Three types of visions, inner vision, that's like a movie you see inside. Tonight, when we begin to activate, online, when we begin to activate, some of y'all are going to see something. It's going to be an inner vision. Open vision, when you're standing somewhere, you're swallowed up. You don't know if you're there. You don't know if you're on earth, but you're just swallowed up having a vision with your eyes wide open. And then a night vision. I used to teach a night vision and a dream are the same thing. I don't believe they are. I believe they're different. I think prophetic dreams have their own language. They're symbolic. So lots of symbolism. Night visions, I think, tend to be more literal. Although you can have literal prophetic dreams, but night visions tend to be more literal. And night visions, in my opinion, are that things that happen to you uh, when you're between asleep and awake. A lot of times when you come into a season of revelation, you, you'll find your sleep patterns change. I went through a season about three or four years. I either was up late at night or early, early in the morning, wee hours of the morning. I couldn't, just couldn't break that pattern, but I was having all kinds of night visions, all kinds of revelations. Now, when God starts doing that, thank you, Holy Ghost. So the Lord just said to me, some of you, your sleep has been under attack, but it's because the devil's actually trying to attack you in the area that God wants to use you in. Because understand this, Satan attacks what God wants to use you in. So some of you that are under attack in the night season, it's probably because you're anointed for prophetic dreams. So we have spiritual eyes. We're going to pray tonight that God increases our spiritual sight. We have spiritual ears. In the book of Revelations, Jesus said in Revelation 3.20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hears a voice and opens the door, I'll come in and dine with them. We typically use that scripture for evangelism, which it was written to the church. Or we use that as an eschatology scripture for the coming of the Lord. But I believe that that scripture has daily implication to our lives. Because when Jesus said, I will come in and dine with him, he's speaking of communion. So he's saying, the prerequisite for another level of intimacy with me is you've got to hear me. You cannot just hear me where I was moving before, but where I'm moving now. So some of you are not people who see a lot, but you're going to hear. Now, there are different levels of the voice of God. One level is the still, small voice. If everybody's screaming... It's hard to hear the still small voice. I say this, that the prophetic is as much about listening as it is speaking. If you're a prophetic person, you've got to be a good listener. So we're going to act, ask God to activate our spiritual ears. And then thirdly, uh, and there's more than this, but I'm going quickly. Our spiritual mind, Romans 8, 27 said, he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the spirit is. So I want to give you four things that I feel like happen with the spiritual mind. I believe you have what I call God thoughts. You're praying, you don't know if it's, you heard it, you saw it, you thought it, but you're postured in a place of, of hearing from God, and it's a God thought. To me, it's like a, an illuminated thought. Where is that coming from? The mind of the Spirit. You, your Spirit has a mind. The Holy Ghost can be grieved, Ephesians says. You can't be grieved if you don't have a mind. So you have a spiritual mind. Sometimes you have impressions. You didn't hear it, you didn't see it, you just felt it. Don't go over here. I was getting ready to preach the first church I, I planted. Uh, we had grown to two campuses, and one of our campuses was a little bitty building. It was uh, concrete block walls, and Yolanda had an air-conditioning duct that ran right down the middle aisle. And we were doing, I think we were doing an illustrated sermon that Sunday morning. And I'd come from the other campus, came in, worship was ending. We were supposed to start this illustration, and I was going to preach at the end of it. And I was walking in, and I had this impression, you need to go back to your car and get such and such an item. I was right in the middle of the center aisle, walked out, and as I walked out, the air conditioning ductwork collapsed in the center of the aisle and would have hit me had I been standing there. 
it collapsed, hit nobody. There was one piece of it, hit one of the worship leaders and, and cut off a piece of her hair. It, it, it sheared off a piece of her hair. It didn't cut anything else. Uh, and God preserved us. But it, that impression was so important to me. I was getting on a flight one time. I had an impression. Don't, don't get on this flight. Got on it anyways. Flying to Trinidad and it drops. And, 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 and 25 people get injured. Everyone gets thrown up. We're falling, free falling. And it to, did it twice. And I thought, man, I wish I would have listened to that impression I had. But see, because I didn't hear it, I didn't see it, I wasn't sure if it was God. And sometimes these impressions are that subtle. What do you do? You pray about them. Now, tonight we're going to move very fast so we don't have time to pray. But here's the thing. Sonship is the prerequisite to the prophetic. So we're going to believe more in God's ability to speak to us and through us than the devil's ability to block us, okay? And if we mess it up online or in person, guess what? I'd rather mess up amongst family than mess up out there, amen? So impressions, uh, inward knowing, you just know that you know. I've just known sometimes that's not for me. Don't do that. I didn't have a vision. I didn't have a dream. And then uh, Romans 8, 14 talks about being led by the Spirit of God. I believe your spiritual mind can lead you or direct you. Amen. So these are three places God speaks to us. Now, with that being said, we're going to do some activations, okay? Uh, let's start... Uh, let me do this. I will start this way. Let's get seven chairs. So I'm going to need a couple of ushers to help and put four here on this side on my left and three on the, the right side. I'm sorry, y'all. Just get seven of them. And we're going to do this to get, the, get it moving. And online, y'all are going to help us. So I'm going to need some monitoring. Uh, Prophet Yolanda, if you would, I want you to help with this. And Prophet Tay and Prophet Ricky, I want y'all to help with this. So we're going to get seven chairs, four on this side, my left, three on this side, my right. And thank you all. Okay, Prophet Tay and Prophet Yolanda and Prophet Ricky, I want you to uh, get seven people. And uh, so if y'all want to volunteer, you could lift your head. Get, each one of you get a person, okay? We're going to fill these seven chairs with volunteers that want to receive prophetic ministry. I don't remember which side I said what, so I don't remember. If you don't remember, it'll work. I just want four on one and three on the other. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to ask God for one word for these people in these chairs. And we're going to ask, uh, Prophet Tay, I'm going to let you be over the online group. So, so get, get your people. All right, if y'all want to volunteer, raise your hands. Come on, y'all. Get, get them kind of quick let's fill these chairs all right y'all just pick a chair so you're going to monitor online so kelton where's kelton at can you help tay because y'all are going to have to be monitoring facebook and youtube so facebook and youtube the people we put in these three chairs we're going to pray that you begin to get one word prophecies for them and what you two guys are going to do is monitor the comments and then y'all are going to prophesy from the one word. So we're doing a multifaceted activation. We do an activation that everybody online is going to be giving one word. Now, here's the thing. If I'm working in a team and Yolanda said, I have a word for him, fire. I need to know, is it the fire of judgment? Is it the fire of the anointing? Is it the fire of purifying? What is it? So we're doing a two-level activation. We're getting one word from the crowd. And then these prophets have to sort out take those words and, and see what the Lord could be saying, okay? So online, Facebook, and YouTube, we're coming to you first. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the eyes of our spirit being open. We thank you for the ears of our spirit being open right now. In the name of Jesus, we ask you, Lord, to begin to speak to us. Speak to us and give us one word, uh, one word for each person that is in these chairs. In the name of Jesus, give it to us, Lord. So we're going to start right here with my sister in the pink. Is that the camera there back there? Right, okay, we're starting here. So Facebook and YouTube, y'all pray. People in the building, pray for Facebook and YouTube. And, and start to type one word. Don't do two. Don't do three. One word. And y'all are monitoring there, okay? We're starting here. And as soon as you got a couple of them, you want to jump off. Now, activation is diving off. Now, we don't want to go five minutes. 
We got to go like a minute because we got to prophesy to everybody, okay? So uh, it's jumping off. So they may, y'all may take two or three of those one words. I don't care. And you can even tag team it. But uh, we're doing that. So Facebook and YouTube, write your one word for this lady right here. What is your name? Annabella. Annabella. Write your one word. Father, we thank you for Annabella, that you love her. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your kindness. You ready? All right. So we have two I'm going to go with. Hunger. And then the other is promise. I heard the Lord say, I'm bringing you into a season of hunger and promise. The Lord says, this is going to be a time. This is going to be a time where your hunger is opening up new doors, new opportunities. And the Lord says, there's almost been like a season where you've been longing for more. And you question, where is it? And God says, I'm going to even go back even like five and ten years and answer the, the promise I gave you. Well, I hear the Lord say when it's com- compared to hunger, he said, you have almost been almost like physical food. You've been trying to diet in the spirit. You've been trying to figure out uh, uh, what to eat, what, what to read about. And the Lord said this is going to be a season where he's literally going to show you when you open up the word, he's going to show you where to go to find the word for that. That particular day, that particular day, the Lord is going to give you that word for that day. Amen. Did that help you? That's a good word. All right. What is your name? Adrian. All right. Facebook and YouTube. Let's pray for Adrian. Father, we thank you for Adrian, that he's a son. We thank you, Lord God, for your goodness, your kindness, your love. God, give us a word for Adrian right now in Jesus' name. Begin to write your comments on Facebook and YouTube. You say, you're moving fast. This is activation. This is how we do it. So one word. That's all you're asking God for right now is one word. Y'all, prophets, be monitoring it. We're looking for a word of the Lord for Adrian that we feel resonates, that we feel is on target. Father, we just thank you in the name of Jesus. Y'all write it. I know Facebook lags behind, doesn't it? What I'll do is y'all are keeping watch on those. I'm going to, while y'all are prophesying here, no, I can't because then they'll, we won't know whose word is what. You got it? Okay. Two people actually put the same word at the same time. One is eagle and then one is solid. And I heard the Lord say, I'm going to give you eagle eyes in this season. Sometimes you feel like you've not been, uh, it's almost like you've been flying, but you're not aware you're flying. And God says, I'm going to take you to a higher place. But this is really a time of you becoming stable. God says, I'm going to make myself so real to you. I'm going to make every aspect of me so real. And you've been in a season where things around you have been unstable and even pain. But the Lord says, I'm sealing that up because I've called you to go higher. I've called you to see. And that's why sometimes you don't fit in with everyone. You, haven't, you, you, you can't find your crowd because God says, I've called you higher in this season. All right, so someone said obedient. I hear the Lord said, um, you've been, you, you've literally, before you even came here, you, you had on your mind that you were trying to figure out where, where you fit in, in the place. Um, and, and the Lord said, it's almost like um, what makes you stand out, you, you, you almost like you keep in. But the Lord said, that's disobedient because you're trying to be somebody that you're not. But the Lord said, he's bringing you literally in your mind. He's giving you his thoughts, the way that he thinks towards you. And you're going to see the more the way that you think, the way, the way that you, um, he, the thoughts that he give you, when you start thinking those thoughts, he said that those going to be, you're going to walk in obedience through what he say to you through your thoughts. And you're going to see even now, I see even when it comes to obedience. Woo! Okay, so it's, even when it comes to beating, you have to watch what you look at. My debe Soria. The enemy has been attacked in your eyes. And, 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 and it's a way, it's, it's, it's almost as the Lord said, guard your eyes and you can walk in obedience. Woo. If you guard your eyes, you will walk in obedience in Jesus' name. Amen. That's a good word. Now, I want to draw attention. He, and because he flows quite frequently in the prophetic, so you notice that there was, in that word, there was encouragement. The Lord was encouraging him. There was also instruction and almost a word of warning. And we know sometimes that in the prophetic, there's a word of warning. Like if God's saying, hey, I want to upgrade your finances, he may also say, I want to deal with your spending habits. Or I'm speaking to you about sowing seeds. So I like the way that word unfolded because it gave him a lot to chew on. Amen. All right. Our last online activation. Tell me your name. Markeith. All right. So y'all out there in Facebook, YouTube, I'm going to start praying Start loosening those one word activation and the prophets are going to start prophesying. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus for the word of the Lord for this man of God. Give us pictures, Lord. Give us one word, God. Just start writing your words in the comments, Facebook and YouTube right now. I can feel when my hand is on him how the Lord is wanting to prophesy to him, but I'm not the prophet tonight. So uh, y'all... 
be looking at the, the one words and, and come forth with it. So y'all write it on Facebook and YouTube. Write the word that the Lord gave to you that is in your spirit and go ahead, prophets. So someone said stewardship. I hear the Lord say, um, uh, you, you just came out of a season where you was almost like wasting time as in what he was showing you in your dreams. There are many dreams that you had literally and you saw it play out almost like after days, but because you didn't steward, you didn't know how to really deal with the dream. You didn't know how to dissect it because you didn't write it down. The Lord said in this season, if you will steward what he show you, you're, you're going to see not only what he show you is going to be so clear, but when you speak it, it's going to have a level of authority because you saw it. I also hear the Lord saying, even with stewardship, that even when it comes to whoo, your prophetic gifting, the Lord said it's time to step into your call. You've been running. You've been allowing others to almost like you will believe yourself because others overlooked you. This is a season where I cursed the spirit of rejection over you and you're about to steward the, the calling of your life in Jesus' name. Woo! Several of the same comments kept on coming in like over and over, probably the most with you, the same word. It would either be forward, strong, or keep on going. And I just heard the Lord say, there's almost been a moment. It's like sometimes we can be driving down a road and we see a sign and it's a mile marker. It says like, one, two, five, whatever it says, God says if there's almost been a moment of trauma that you got stuck at, a situation, a, a, a thing, but God says, I'm moving you forward in this season, just like Prophet Tay was saying, this is a season where I'm increasing your prophetic voice, I'm increasing all these things, but you're going to step into such a season of freedom in this time. God says... The word over you is forward, forward in your thinking, forward in who you are, forward in where you belong. God says, I didn't put all that inside of you just to be wasted. It's time to go forward. Amen. Now, listen, y'all pray over the, all three of them. Just lay hands. I'm going to come to this side, but minister them before they go. Okay. Did, now, this is in the room, guys. So you that are online, we were praying for you to get words. Now you got to pray for us. This is in the room. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to start in the end, Prophet Ricky, then Prophet Shalanda, then Prophet Ricky, and we're going to go through. So y'all that are in the audience, we're going to pray, and you're going to just ask God for one word. You could see it. You could hear it. You could think it. You're going to, if you get a word for the person we're praying for, uh, pop up, and then probably a lot of people will get words. So they're going to just maybe choose two or three of you. Uh, there may be 10, 20 that get words. Please don't feel bad if we don't choose you. We're just moving quickly. So we're going to try to move with picking the words from the people real fast, like 30 seconds or so, So because I want to get in the activation. So we're going to start here. What's your name? All right, Caleb. All right, y'all, stretch your hands towards Caleb. We're going to pray for about 30. Hmm? Okay, we're going to pray for him about 30 seconds, and we're going to go. Father, we just thank you right now for a word right now for the man of God. We ask you to speak to us. Let us hear it. Let us see it. Let us know it. Now, just pray in tongues, and as soon as you get a word or impression, stand up. In the name of Jesus. All right, Prophet Ricky. Go ahead, get their words. The word is freedom. All right. Steadfast. The Lord says, this shall be a day where I begin to settle, settle your feet. For it's been his past times where you felt uncomfortable and unsure about where to go and how to go. But I hear the scripture says that it's not my word like a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. Where I have ordered your steps, even in times of frustration, where you are saying, like, God, why am I going this way? And God, why am I doing this? Because the Lord says, I'm having to teach you hands on. There are some things that you wanted to learn by base from other people. But the Lord says, I want to pull you closer in so I can now begin to make you confident in the fact that it is that I have called you, but that you also hear my voice with you shall be grounded and rooted and steadfast. Amen. That's a good word. Steadfast. That's a warfare word. That's a character word. That's a good word. All right. This is Julie. We're going to pray and ask God for a word for her. Same thing. We're just going to pray. And then when you get one word, stand up. Prophet Yolanda is going to be choosing two or three, however many she wants. Father, we thank you for Julie in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, that you begin to speak to us about her in Jesus' name. Give us a word, Lord. In the name of Jesus. All right, go ahead. Did you say rejuvenate? All right, rejuvenate. Rejuvenate. This is the season that I am calling you to a greater season of joy. You are getting ready to step into the fullness of joy. 
I am your strength, says the Lord. My strength will be made perfect in your times of weakness. As you press into me, as you push into me, you will step into that great season. Amen. All right, we're going to pray for Chris now. So as soon as you get a word, stand up. Father, we thank you for the word of wisdom, the word of knowledge. We thank you, Lord, for speaking to us about his life, his destiny, his purpose. In the name of Jesus, ask the Lord now in the audience and stand when you get something. All right, there we go. There we go. Territory. Legislator. Get, the, get, get the, the third young ladies, too. Let's just see what it is. Creativity. Territory, legislative creativity. Shamik, confidence. All right, prophet, bring it all together for us now. <laughs> I hear the Lord say, stand your ground. Stand your ground. Be, be, the, uh, the Bible says to put on the armor of God. These will be great days of great contending for you, says God. But the Lord wants you to not be fearful because of what will stand before you. For what will be before you is yet great. But the Lord says, I have come as the Lord God, who is the God of the breakthrough for you. For these shall be days where you begin to have your feet quickened, where you're able to run through a troop and to leap over walls. The Lord says the things that has tried to talk you out of the promises of God, and the thing that's tried to cause you to quit and try to give up. The Lord says, I'm sending divine angelic help unto you. For son, I shall begin to make you aware of the greater that is in you than he that is in the world. No longer will you be in this place. Where, you are, where the enemy begins to now talk you into days and moments of regret and frustration because of what did not happen and even what should have happened. But the Lord says, if you will remove your eyes off of those things, I will give you great victory. For these shall be days of your life where you're going to triumph in the victory that I have promised you. For yes, even your days shall be long upon the earth as long as you continue to remain focused on me. Amen, amen. Now, y'all catch that at the end. There was a condition... As long as you remain focused on me. So see, if we were working in a team, we'd probably keep digging that prophecy and go layer by layer by layer. But we're moving fast. All right. Our final in this. Tell me your name. Christina. Christina. And I know I messed your name up. I'm sorry. I, I tried. I messed it up twice. All right, Christina. We're going to pray for Christina and get a word of the Lord for Christina. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for Christina. We thank you in the name of Jesus for speaking to us. Give us a word, Lord. Let us hear it, let us see it, let us know it in the name of Jesus. Soto Rabba de 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 asaya, manche kiriria. All right, here we go. Hands. What did you say? Hands, okay, I thought so. Peace. Oh, wow, this is interesting. The same thing, serenity. Serenity. Serenity and peace and hands. I heard the Lord say, I make your hands to war and your fingers to fight. I also heard the Lord say for you that he is getting ready to restore you. He is going to restore the years unto you that the locust, the canker worm, the caterpillar, and the palmer have eaten up. And you are going to step into a season of peace and serenity and tranquility as they have said that the days have come to an end. You are stepping out of a season of sorrow and into a season of joy think it not strange the fiery trials that came to test you and to tempt you but this is the day that I am going to raise you up this is the day that I'm going to bring you out this is the day this is the day of overturning for you. I see the tables turning for you in your favor. You have walked through a hard season, but the tables are turning in your favor, says the Spirit of the living God. And as the tables turn up, your circumstances are overturning now in the name of Jesus. No more sorrow. No more pain, no more shame. Ako rekete mata rekete mande kiere bataya. A new day 
is dawning for you, says the Spirit of the living God. Come on, let's rejoice in those prophetic words. Y'all pray for them before they go down. All right, now how many of y'all are ready to prophesy in the building? All right, we're going to do our first, our activation as a group. We're going to pair up, but I want to demonstrate it first. We're going to find something in the room, an object to prophesy. So I want to demonstrate this, this so that y'all know. Uh, Xavier, you can demonstrate. Okay. So we're going to, you're going to prophesy. Can you let him have your mic? You're going to prophesy to Prophet Shalanda's daughter here on the front row. So you're going to actually, let me think about this. I'm going to make it hard for you. So instead of you picking an object, someone's going to pick an object for you. Jasmine, you're going to pray. You're going to pick anything in this room, okay? And then you, whatever it is she calls out, you use that as the jumping pad into prophesying to her. So let's all pray for Jasmine, Facebook, YouTube. Pray for Jasmine and pray for Xavier. Father, we thank you for the word of the Lord. Help us find it. Help us know it. Help us see it. In Jesus' name. Wipes. So the sanitizing wipes. All right. Now you pray and ask the Lord. I got a word off that. Come on. That's easy. You're not prophesying her marriage date. Sorry. <laughs> wipes, wipes, wipes. For I hear the Lord saying that I've caused you to live a life of purity. And much like these wipes, I'm going to cause you to begin to sanitize the areas around you. That I'm using you as, mm, as much, like, much like almost hand sanitizer. That you're going to go into, the, into arenas, even into your career, and be like... Be like a, a, a steadfast, uh, 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 pure lighthouse, the Lord says. I am going to use you as a sign of purity. Amen. Amen. All right, now, some of you say, well, that's crazy. What was the purpose of that? The purpose of that is to activate. You're not always going to prophesy with these things, okay? The best way to prophesy is to study Scripture, know Scripture. I love doing Scripture activations. We may do one tonight, but I'm showing you different jumping pads for prophecy. Now, if you have never done this before and you're really, really nervous, uh, that's fine. What we'll do is we'll try to pair you with people who've done it before, okay? So if you, like, say, oh, I'm so freaked out, I'm not sure— as I give instructions, stay seated. And uh, those that are not freaked out and scared and ready to go, stand up. Come on, y'all. Now, don't do this to me. Should be the majority of you, y'all. We're like, we've been to activation. And I want people who've never been to activation before. You're not going to, this one we're not doing on the mic. So this is going to be together corporately, okay? Now, what I want to know is... Those who are still seated, because the goal tonight is to activate everybody at some point. Those that are still seated, are you willing to take a risk and maybe pair up with somebody who feels more comfortable? Talk to me. All right. So if you are still seated, but you're willing to take a risk, I want you to raise your hand. What I, let's try to form groups of three. So people that are standing... Maybe two of you find a person with their hand lifted and let's go into groups of three. And, and if there's an odd number group, a group of four, whatever is fine. So people that are standing, find a person with their hand raised and let's go into groups of three. Okay, go ahead, start grouping. And my prophets that are here on the floor, make sure there's nobody left out. Okay, so here's a hand up on the front row. We can do groups of four or five if, if anybody's being left out. So anybody that's like, man, I'm a newbie, I'm nervous, but I, I, I want to go for it, raise your hand, and let's get grouped up. <laughs> Groups of three. If, if, if you're odd man out, we can do more than three. It's okay. But a minimum of three. Now I'm going to give you the instruction, and then we're going to go for it. Okay, anybody not have a group that wanted to be in a group? Anybody not have a group that wanted to be in a group? Now, you on Facebook and YouTube, pray for us. This is going to be a part where you're going to learn by watching. And my prophets, y'all are going to roam around the room. 
And we're going to get testimonies. If anyone goes, man, I got an amazing word from someone. We want to get quick testimonies. So here's what we're going to do, okay? Now that everyone's grouped up, I want you to just pay attention for 30 seconds to me, and then we're going to start. So I need everybody's attention. We're doing an object activation. An object activation. So demonstrate. I'm praying for Ricky, and I see a lid. I hear the Lord say the lid is coming off your life. He says that it's a season of expansion. He says you're moving forward. Now, we want about 20-second words. That's it. So because that will help us move through more activations. The more you do this, the more fluent you're going to become. So you're prophesying through the launching pad of an object in the room. It could be zay sneakers i hear the lord say you're going into new territory and it's white it's pure it's holy it's consecrated you know it it could be if someone got running shoes you're going to run into this next season it could be the monitor i hear the lord amplifying your voice so you're just going to ask god y'all are not listen some of you are trying to figure what is my object don't do it that way you're going to ask the lord now this is different you're going to pray with your eyes open so here's what we need to do Inside of the groups, like y'all got group of two. Y'all are in a group. Are you in a, you're in a group now. All right. So pick somebody in the group that feels comfortable to go first, and then we're going to move through the group quickly. Now, in the group, you're just each person's giving one word. So it's like if, if we were for a group, we're not all giving a word to each other. He may give a word to Yolanda. Yolanda may give a word to Ricky and Ricky. That's how we're going to move through this fastly, okay? So designate someone in your group to go first. We're going to pray 30 seconds, eyes open. I'm going to say start, and you're going to prophesy for 30 seconds. I promise y'all, if you are open to Holy Spirit, he's going to help you. Those of you online, pray with us. All right, let's go. We're going to start praying. Pray with your eyes open. And ask God to show you something in the room to prophesy through. Father, we thank you right now for the spirit of wisdom and revelation. In Jesus' name, begin to give encouraging words, strengthening words, strategic words. In the authority of the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for the prophetic spirit, the prophetic anointing. Now, we're going to pray for 10 more seconds. This is not an intercession meeting. This is a prophetic activation. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Get go with your word now. Find the person, start prophesying. Twenty to thirty seconds. Go. You guys that are online, I'm going to give you another assignment in a few minutes. So someone just said, I wish I was there. You got to come to the next one. But you're still with us. You're being activated. Stick with us on Facebook and YouTube. Yes, Lord. Come on. All right, y'all. About 10 more seconds. This is not a preaching meeting. It's an activation. (laughs) 10, 9, start wrapping your word. 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, close out your word. My prophets that are helping me are on the floor. Did anybody in your group get a shocking word that was like, wow, that was a good word and spoke to me in a profound way? In the back, can we get, get a mic in the back? Come on, I need my prophets with mics. Here was a word over here that's encouraging. Tell us in the back what happened. Well, she basically pointed to these uh, beams over here on the wall and said that she see that things are separated, but they're going to come together. And just like you see this heart over here, your heart, uh, he's going to mend your heart. And, and he just, she just kept speaking, and it was just awesome. Come on, Jesus. We got one right here, Dad. All right, here's another testimony. So he prophesied to me, one of the words he said was Pearl, and my car's name is Pearl, I have a white car, and I love pearls, and so he talked about holiness and God um, refining some things in my life. So. Now, do you see that? He could have said, this is a crazy activation, I'm not going to do this. Do you know God talked to people in the Bible through numbers, through symbols? 
Yeah, I didn't give the scripture, but there's many scriptures about symbols, and that's why we're doing this activation. You have a dream about a water bottle. What could that mean? Maybe God's increasing your capacity. Was there any other testimonies? Okay, over here. Yeah, he just, um, he said a lot that really resonated with me. He talked about God fortifying my inner man. He talked about uh, me not being afraid uh, to be aggressive, not being afraid to be bold, and that's something that I've always, you know, kind of been in my mind, like, I don't want to look like I'm being over aggressive or like I'm overcompensating or something. And he really just spoke to that. Yeah. That's awesome. All right, guys. So you see God speaking. OK, now here's what I want to do. I want to move through the rest of this activation. If you're in an even person number group where that you can pair up. So in other words, the rest of the people in your group can prophesy. Let's try to finish the activation on this round. If you're in an odd number group where not everybody can browse at each other, this round will go one more round. So in other words, it's not just one person now. It's the group start linking up so we can move through the whole group. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pray for 30 seconds. We're going to prophesy for 20 to 30 seconds. Let me say one thing. When I count you down and say it's time to be done and y'all keep on going, this is a lesson because we're talking about learning how to move in the spirit, learning protocol. So even though you may have an anointing that could prophesy for five minutes, this is good to train your spirit to prophesy on command and to stop on command. OK, so we're going about 20 to 30 seconds with these words. We want to work through the rest of the group. So if it's numerically possible, let me just say this. Is there anybody that in your group, it's not numerically possible for you to finish on this round that you need one more person? Hold your hand up. I want one of my prophets to go to any of the groups that need one more person. There's two. There's three. Okay. All right. So do we got everybody? All right. We're good. So we're going to finish this activation now. I'm a, we're going to pray 30 seconds, prophesy 30 seconds. Let's go. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus for the word of the Lord. It is alive tonight. We thank you for eyes that see. Now be looking around. Ask the Lord, what are you illuminating in the room? We thank you for the ears that hear. We thank you, God, for edification, exhortation, and comfort now in the name of Jesus. Father, as we're joining online, we thank you that you're opening our prophetic eyes and our prophetic ears in Jesus' name on the Global Hub campus. Father, we thank you for activation now in Jesus' name. Now pray in the spirit. Spirit, about 10 seconds and we're closing. La mando do 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 shaya, tanda do bo saya. La mansa 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0. Oh, go. Let's start prophesying about 20 to 30 seconds. Y'all that are on Facebook and YouTube, pray as the word is going forth and here. We thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm going to give you all another assignment online in just a moment. Remember, 20 to 30 seconds now. We're about midway through. Oh, I hear people getting excited over there. 15 seconds left. 10, 9, <laughs> 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, start wrapping up your words. Start wrapping up your words. Anybody that's, your group's done, that, that there was, you received a phenomenal word. I see hands going up. I heard a shout back there. Yell out. What happened back there? Deliverance on my life to help and deliver people. And those are the exact same things that God has told Come me. on. She confirmed her assignment in her mandate. Amen. I know there was more testimonies, but we're going to move because of time. So y'all can go back to your seats now. And I'm going to give the online, our online people an assignment. And then we're going to go into our next round of activation here. On the online campus, if you're live with us. I want you online to ask God for a picture that applies to you. 
and I want you to write it down, and then I want you to ask the Lord, God, give me an encouraging word to go with the picture. So can we just take 30 seconds and pray for our online audience? We're asking online for a picture. So maybe if I'm praying, Suta Raman de Didi, and I see a river, I write down river. Now, Lord, what are you speaking to me about a river, Ryan? I'm speaking to you that I'm going to refresh you in this season of your life. We're asking God because, listen, you learn to move prophetically at home before you bring in the church, right? So those that are online, we're going to pray for about 30 seconds. You're going to ask the Lord for a picture for you. And then the next thing you pray is, what is an encouraging word to go to this picture? Then, once you have it, I want you to start writing it in the comments. I may not read them because I'm going to go straight into activation in the room, but I want to include you. Even if you're watching the replay, I want you to write it in the comments. So let's take 30 seconds and pray with people online because there's more people online than in the room. Father, we thank you for the online uh, streamers, the Global Hub members. In the name of Jesus, open up their eyes. So you that are online, begin to ask now. Father, give me a picture. That's what we're asking. Lord, give them a picture. Raman do 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 I see the Lord speaking to people online. I see the Lord opening your eyes. Already people are writing. Now when you get the picture, uh, Brianna said, I see a mountain. Uh, the Lord said, you're going to climb and overcome that mountain. Brianna said, uh, or I'm sorry, someone else says a light. The light of revelation is coming to you. So Father, we thank you for words of knowledge and wisdom in Jesus' name. Now get your picture. Now ask the Lord, Lord, what is a word to me about this picture? What is a word to me about this picture? Father, give them your word to encourage them, to strengthen them. And I see the Spirit of God speaking to some of you. I want you to begin to write it in the comments. Tabi says, I'm getting keys to the next level. Yes, in the name of Jesus. That's a good word. You all are writing pictures. Now you're asking the Father, what does this picture represent in my life. That's what you're asking him for. I want to ask quickly, how many of you uh, feel called to do something online with media? Stand to your feet. We're going to activate you quickly. All right. One of the things you're going to have to do with media, uh, those that are online, you're activating. Go ahead. Keep writing the comments. Listen, I need you all in the comments to be encouraging each other on Facebook, YouTube, uh, be talking to each other. And Kelton, if you've seen anything in the comments, you're like, I got to read this out. Flag me down. All right. Everybody, this, this online, get your phone. The, all the old people stand, get your phone. Open your camera to the video selection and come to the front. Or no, no, you stay where you're at. I'm sorry. Stay where you're at. What we're going to do is we're going to do an activation. We're going to activate that God is going to help us to prophesy in the midst of distracting seasons. So we're going to pray, Lord, give me a word, a 20-second word. And then the rest of us in the building are going to be noisy, talking, praying, carrying on while they're trying to record their words. And y'all are going to get your camera out, and you're going to do it till you get one that works. So y'all don't, it's not going to be 30, 30 minutes, okay? We're going to get in a few minutes. You're going to be like, I hear the Lord saying that you are coming forth no matter what. And, and make sure you get behind you that there are people. So if you're out here, turn your camera, there are people. So you're going to pray now. We're going to pray for an activation. God's going to activate your voice. And then the rest of us, when they get ready to record, make noise. So pray, talk, do whatever. Because the word is, you're going to be activated even in a distracting season, okay? All right, let's pray. Now, y'all with the phones better really be praying, okay? Let's pray. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name for words from the Lord. We thank you, Lord, right now that you begin to give them words to encourage people. Ramanda, come about 30 seconds. We're going to pray. Then you'll start recording your word. And if you mess it up, you can do two or three takes. Father, I thank you for encouraging words. I thank you for raising up a media generation. I thank you for raising up those that will preach in the digital arena, that will raise up businesses activate their voices tonight come on let's pray with them activate their voices tonight in Jesus name I thank you for it oh God right now in the name of Jesus now y'all better be asking for your words listen I don't care if it's 10 seconds I don't care if it's 20 seconds uh, you're going to begin to record okay I want everyone in the building be noisy now come on be noisy y'all start recording go ahead start recording come on start recording you got to press through a distracting season 
talk loud, talk into the camera. Come on, God's raising up new voices. He's raising up new voices. They're not distracted. They're not moved. They're not moved. They're not moved. We activate you. Did you get it? Come on, get it, girl, get it. We activate you in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. How many of y'all got it? How many of y'all are done? How many, now, did y'all finish? Anyone not finish? Jasmine then, all right, we, Jasmine, you're going to get it. We're activating. We got a straggler, y'all. So I need you to make some, get your phone out. Come on, you just got to make it at least 10 seconds. You can't go to the nations if you can't go past some opposition in a room. We got to get it. We going to get it. All right, tell me when that phone's ready. All right, y'all stand up behind her and make noise. Let's distract her good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Come on, 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 now, if y'all post that somewhere that you can tag, tag me or tag ATL Hub. And y'all that are at home, like, what are you doing? We're activating tonight. Amen? We're activating tonight. All right, listen. We're going to do prophetic prayer activation. So we're going to ask God for a prayer that will bless someone. We want a prayer that will bless somebody. Not praying what we think, but praying what God thinks. All right? So let's stand up. Let's try to group into even numbers, groups of two or groups of four. If you could find someone you don't know might be good. So let's start grouping. Find a partner. Even numbers, two, four, six. But these are one-on-one -on -one activations. I'm going to demonstrate before we go. Y'all at home, pray for us. Now listen, if you're watching on Facebook and YouTube... You can do every one of these activations in your house, you, some other people. And I'm going to give you another one that you can do online tonight. Anybody not have a partner that needs a partner? Raise your hand. Brittany, no one wants to pray for you. My God. My God. C -c Anyone else? This young lady back here needs a partner. Who doesn't have a partner? There's two that don't have partners. Here's someone in the middle doesn't have a partner. You can group. Okay. We got him a partner. It's a lady here in the back that have a partner. All right, we got him. Anybody still need a partner? One young lady back here. Xavier, could you, could you group up with her? Oh, you already got someone. All right. Uh, come here, young lady that doesn't have a partner. She got someone? No, she doesn't. Okay, all right, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, Ricky, come here. Let me have your hand. Now, you can do this however you want. I'm just, this is how I would do it. And let me just say this. I realize, we, and I'm not making fun, we really have germaphobes. People don't want to be touched. So you need to have a discussion in your group how you want to do this. But if, if he was comfortable, I should ask him, are you comfortable if I touch you? Okay. Um, so here's what I would do. I'd pray for my 30 seconds. Father, I thank you. And I'm just praying in the spirit. Because what am I doing? I'm listening. So I'm not going in prophesying them. I'm listening. And then from the listening, I'm looking for a prophetic prayer that will encourage him. Father, I just thank you for Ricky. I thank you for the zeal that's in his heart, God, that he would be a man that would not just run fast, God, but he would be a man of endurance, Lord, that, that you said you're faithful, that if you've begun a good work, you're faithful to complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. So I'm praying for him, for stamina. I hear the Lord say, stamina is your portion, son. I decree stamina over you in Jesus' name, that you won't just birth and you won't just initiate and you won't just start. But the Lord said, you are a finisher in the name of Jesus. So I, I, I'm just praying and prophesying, but I'm listening and then praying, okay? So that's what we're going to do. So however the people in your group are comfortable, they're like, I don't want to touch. You don't have to touch. You get close enough, you can start picking up on stuff. If you want to touch, put hands. Now, look, I'm kind of funny about that. Like, if I think you got demons, no, I'm good. Don't, don't. <laughs> so however, discuss it amongst yourselves, however you're comfortable. And we're going to begin to pray. We're praying to listen. 
You might want to be quiet. You might want to pray in tongues, however you want to pray. We're praying to listen, and then we're encouraging prayers, okay? So let's begin our listening now. Father, we thank you for eyes to see. Pray with us on Facebook and YouTube, ears to hear what the Spirit of the law would say unto the church in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We just thank you, Lord, right now. We thank you, Lord, right now. We thank you, Lord, right now. We thank you, Lord, right now. In Jesus' name. Okay, about 10 more seconds, and then you're going to release a prophetic prayer over the person. Say, I have no idea what to, then just start praying for them. And let it come out of you. We're activating the well in us. Ten seconds and let's start praying for them. Ten, nine, eight. If you're already praying for them, it's fine too. Seven, six. Y'all at home, pray with us. Pray for us. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, go. Start, start to release that prophetic prayer. About 30 seconds. Go, 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 go. And you on Facebook and YouTube, I'm praying right now. The Lord says, I'm refreshing you tonight. The Lord says, I'm breaking cords that have kept your vision blocked. The Spirit of the Lord says, as you're tuning into this activation, you're here in the realm of the Spirit, and therefore your vision is increasing. So I decree in the name of Jesus, your vision is decreasing. I pray, Father, for an increase of vision coming alive in your people in the authority of the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that you're increasing. The Lord said the enemies tried to block your vision and tried to mute your vision, but the Lord said you are increasing in Jesus' name. You're increasing in Jesus' name. Rabban Dododoboshaya, Rabban Zuntu Rebesite, in the name of Jesus. All right, we're going to start wrapping up our prayers now because remember, this is a prophetic activation. About 20 seconds. Let's start wrapping. Yes, Lord. 10. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. All right. Start to end your prayers now. Start to end your prayers. You that are online, I'm getting ready to give you an activation, so get ready. Start to end your prayers in the room. All right, y'all need to wrap. Remember I said you got to learn how to operate in the rhythm of where we're going. I need you to finish. Did anybody, y'all should be finished now. Did anybody get someone pray prophetically over you and you're like, wow, that really encouraged me. Over there, awesome, awesome. Okay, so y'all are in groups. Stay in the group you're in. Stay in the group you're in. All right, y'all, I need you to stop. Those are praying. I need you to stop praying. Listen, we got a lot of people online. I'm going to give the online campus an activation, and then I'm going to give you guys a second activation. Stay in your group. So you that are online, here's your activation. You're going to ask God for a Bible character that represents someone in your family. So maybe... I say, you know, I, I believe the Lord is speaking to me that my mom is a Deborah, that she's a woman of strength, a woman of valor. You that are online, you ask the Lord, Lord, give me a Bible character that speaks to someone in my family. And then you're going to pray and ask God, give me a word. While we're here live, and if you're watching this replay, this is what I want you to do. So we're going to pray a 30 second prayer. You're going to ask God, give me a Bible character that speaks to someone in my family. Then when we go into our next activation here, you stay in prayer out there, and you begin to write out a word. I don't care if it's one sentence or two sentences that you can send them this week. So it's Monday. 
So you're going to pray, Lord, identify a family member, give me a Bible character, and then once you have that, you're praying through a very simple word that you can send to a family member this week. So y'all, I'm coming back to you for your next activation in the room, but let's pray for the people online. Y'all get a break for a minute, okay? So everybody online, let's start praying right now. Father, I thank you for people on Facebook and YouTube for giving them a Bible character to relate to one of their family members in the name of Jesus. Now you begin to pray in the Spirit online about 30 seconds I'm watching the clock oh Brabanda ask the Lord Lord give me a Bible character give me a family member if you don't know who if you're married pick your spouse if you love your mom, pick your mom. You, if you're not getting a picture of who, you can pick the who, but ask for a Bible character. All right. While we're doing that online, I want you to pair back up in the group. Pair back up in the group. And you all begin to pray for 30 seconds and ask for a Bible character for the person you're praying for. If you don't know the Bible good and you can't come up with a Bible character, come up with a superhero. So either a Bible character or a superhero. All right? Go for it. Start praying in the group. You guys that are online, stop praying now. I want you to start writing in the comments a Bible character that you came up with. And then your homework is you're going to ask the Lord, give me a word to go with this to write out and send to my family, either via text Social media, you, you could tell them, I was in a prophetic activation, and this is the word I got for you. I see it, John, Moses, my husband is a Samson, Elizabeth says, Teresa says, Joseph. Y'all in the room, start praying for the person with you. You're looking for a Bible character, or if you don't know the Bible good, you can do a superhero. So come on, someone on YouTube says, Saul. Now, you guys on Facebook and YouTube are going to ask the Holy Spirit, for a, for a word to go with the character that you share with that family member this week. So you have until next Monday, seven days. All right, in the group now, we're praying for a Bible character, or if that's hard, a superhero. About 20 seconds, and then I want you to start prophesying to the person about that character or that hero. Manda Ramando do 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 bushaya, marava boku rabaya, raman subraman te 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 dia saya, marabando do 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 bushaya, makarava subrite. All right, we're gonna end this prayer in ten seconds, and y'all gonna start prophesying if you're not already prophesying. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. All right, y'all, go ahead now and start prophesying. You got 20 to 30 seconds. Online, I hope y'all are doing your work. Jocelyn says, the woman with the issue of blood, my sister. So you got to give her the word. Listen, your family needs encouragement online. Your family needs encouragement. Get the word for your family. All right, y'all in the building, remember these are about 20 to 30 seconds, so you got about 15 seconds more. All right, my prophets, I feel like we're going to have some testimony, so y'all get ready. 10 seconds, start rapping. Oh, I feel the Holy Spirit. Five seconds, wrap it up. Four, three, just go to him, prophet. Two, one, wrap. Now, if you had an amazing, amazing one in your group, we want to hear about it. Our online audience wants to hear about it. Prophet Tay, y'all need to be rapping. Wrap up. Go ahead. Tell us what happened. Right here. Um, so she spoke to me that she saw Hannah. She saw Hannah? Hannah, that I've been waiting a long time and praying for some things. And that God is going to answer those prayers. And that as long as I stay obedient and follow him, and it's not going to be in my power, but it's going to be in God's. Amen. That's a good word. Anybody else get an amazing word? 
I hope everybody got a good word. She's crying right here. Come on, let's get, let's find out what, t t why are you crying? Um, because I received a great word from this guy here. Um, he was talking about how the Lord is bringing me up and there's women that I'm going to bring up based on the things that I've been through. And basically, I'm going to pull them up, and I'm a mighty warrior of God. But then this last couple of weeks, I've been battling really tough, just, um, yeah, battling in the spirit. And I felt like I wasn't where I was supposed to be with the Lord. And basically, he's saying that the Lord is proud of you and to keep going. And it was just a confirmation because the things that I was facing, I was like, I'm not going back to that. I'm not doing that because God's been here with me. So he wow. Now, I love what she said. She'd been battling this week in her walk with God. And you know, and I, I love the way that he prophesied to her because it would be easy for us, maybe if he discerned that. Like a lot of old school, we would have been like, ah, the Lord says you're not doing right. But you saw how God opened her heart because of how he prophesied to her how he ministered to her, okay? So we're going to do a couple more activations. And what this one I want to do with our phones, okay? So go. this will be an individual activation. Go back to your seat and get your phone. And if you're online, you can do this one. So we're going to ask the Lord. Yeah. We're going to ask the Lord... For a one or two sentence prophetic word for someone we know that we're going to live text them or voice memo them. Okay, I'm going to do it too. I'm going to get my phone. Help me, Jesus. Y'all that are online, you can do this with us, okay? So we're going to ask the Lord, but, but here's the stipulation. It has to be one or two sentences. So if I voice memo it, it's going to be like, I'm in a service praying and the Lord told me, stick with it, don't give up. It's like that quick, okay? So one to two sentences. Now, some of you are newbies. It's all right. So here's what I want you to do. You know how you get on your phone and you scroll? Come on, y'all. Y'all are getting so clammed up and Baptist on me now. You, you know how you scroll. I want you to get a social media app that you like or your phone, uh, your contact list. And I want you to open it. And I want you to pray and scroll for 30 seconds. And we're going to ask the Lord for an encouraging word. You that are online on Facebook and YouTube, get your phone. Come on. Come on. Get your phone. And start scrolling. And we're going to pray. All right, let's go. 30 seconds. Soto Rabashaya. Father, I thank you for speaking to us in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for the word of the Lord. Online, get your phone. Mandoroboshaya. Raban Subrebebebeshiketetebaso. I'm going to watch the clock in here. We just started the 10 seconds and we go in 20 more. Sabraban dedediataya. Now, if you get it and you want to start going, you can start going. Two sentences. If you feel you got to explain them where you're at and you need to extend it to three, you can extend it to three. But two sentences. If you want to video it, you want to be real bold, you can video it, but you can voice memo or type it. All right, 15 seconds more. If you've already got a person, stand up. You that are online, participate with us on Facebook and YouTube. All right, y'all, 10 seconds more. Come on. You, you scroll all the time. Now you're scrolling with the Holy Ghost. Nine seconds. Come on, y'all got to get this. Someone in your family, someone in your friends list needs encouragement. All right, you that are online, I want you to do it with us live in real time. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, let's go ahead and start sending our messages right now. Go ahead and get your, I'm sending mine through Instagram. If my phone will work, come on. Online, I want you to go ahead and, send, and start sending the message, the word of the Lord, and tell us about it in the comments. Kelton, will you watch the comments after you do the activation? Let's go for it. Start prophesying, y'all. One to three sentences. I sense the Lord saying to keep on going, don't be shrinking, you need to expand in your voice and ministry, you represent opposition, but don't be discouraged. Come on, y'all, get it, get it, get it, get it. You can voice message, te everybody's texting. 
You know why? Because a lot of you are intimidated to be heard. And we're in, a, we're in a gathering of believers. We're in a gathering of believers. How are we going to prophesy out there if we can't prophesy in here? Come on, y'all. Online, start texting. Start voice memoing. Make that video. Send it. Now, you that are standing, once you're done, sit down so I know you did it. Gary sat in the floor. <laughs> This is a good activation. What if you did this five times this week? We, we're going to do a, we're gonna have to do a prophetic soul winning activation. We're practicing on believers tonight, but we've got to get out there and reach the world as well. All right, I want to see online. If you did the activation, tell us. Ken Kelton, if you see anybody talking to us online, because I haven't been live in the comments, tell us. All right, are y'all, Jasmine's still going. Come on, go, woman of God. Go, woman of God. I mean, getting that video ministry. Brandice says, done on Facebook. God bless you, and I pray the Lord bless everyone that's doing this activation. Amen, amen. People are prophesying in the comments. All right, everybody done with that one? Anyone still working? I think I see someone still standing. You're still working. I don't want to move on until y'all are done. Some of y'all are writing prophetic scrolls here. I mean, not two sentences, but I, I'll not lie. I probably, that was probably four sentences I spoke. All right, we're going to go to the next activation. And this one is going to be, I want to do two more and we're going to be finished for tonight. This one is going to, I'm going to move really quick. Uh, I want to do a healing activation. So I want to pick five people. My prophets, get up. Y'all get up and get help me. Uh, five people who would like the Lord to use you in healing. Uh, stand now. If 10 or 15 of you stand, we can't get you all, but they're going to pick five. Y'all don't just pick one side of the room. We got people over here too. Get, give us five. If we got more than five, it's all right. If you already invited them, it's fine. Okay. Now, y'all that stood, I want you to pray with us. Here's what we're going to do. Y'all have got mics. So we're going to pray, and we're going to ask the Lord for one word. One word. that something that needs to be healed. So we're specifically asking, like, a shoulder, a neck, a kidney, whatever it is. And um, we're going to ask, if you're in the room and you need that, Prophet, you're going to really manage this because I want to move it quickly. Then you're going to pray for them, okay? Now, I want to just give a quick training here and those online. When we prophesy in the area of healing, it's a twofold thing. We're asking God for insight and revelation, but then we're asking him to heal the person. Sometimes healing is instant. Sometimes it's progressive. Because of we're moving fast tonight, we're not going to work this a long time. We're just simply going to release the anointing to that part of their body in the name of Jesus, okay? So y'all are going to facilitate that with the person who calls it out. So y'all up here, we're going to pray at home, pray with us. And if someone in the building doesn't have it, people on the web campus might. So we'll check that as well. All right, we're going to pray for 30 seconds. All you that are up here, just ask God to highlight to you uh, a body part. That's it, okay? And then the prophets, you're going to go stand in front of them, get the body part, say, does anyone have it? And then we're going to pray and, and move, okay? So, Father, we thank you tonight for the gift of the word of knowledge. We thank you for the gifts of healings in Jesus' name. We thank you for speaking to us right now. Show us things that you want to heal. What you reveal, you heal. So show us, Father, in Jesus' name. Now, if you're standing up here, as soon as you get something raise your right hand so we see you soto rabande shayanda robondo okay let's go uh, the rest of you keep on praying till you get something um i literally saw there was like pain in the knees like swelling around the knees all right pain in the knees. who has pain in knees in here who okay all right uh Kali, go with prophet tay and y'all going to pray for her all right who who okay she's got it what is it um, I see a foot. A foot. Somebody Anybody having a problem in your foot? Okay, y'all go pray for her. Go with Prophet Kelton. What do you have? The circulatory system, the blood and stuff like that. Anybody having a problem with circulation? Okay, come, come up here. 
you're going to go, okay, healing him. So anybody having a problem with smell or taste? You're not smelling well. You can't taste well. Okay, come, just come up here. You, you guys are going to pray for, remember, we're just asking the anointing of Jesus to go into their bodies and begin to heal them. Yes. What is it? Ear. Left ear. Left ear. Left ear. Anybody got a problem in your left ear? Gary, come on. Pastor Rodney, will you come help pray for Gary? His left ear, y'all pray for him. You can work with, pa all right, what is it? Shoulder. Shoulder. Anybody have a shoulder issue? All right, just come up here, shoulders. Xavier, you, you, you guys pray for their shoulders. What have you got? Anxiety. Anybody having a struggle with anxiety? All right, just come up here. Actually, there's several of you, isn't there? Just stand up. Stand up. Anxiety. Come on, stand up. Okay, you can come. I didn't know how many there were if we were going to have too many. Just come on. Just come on. Father, we thank you for the anointing of deliverance in Jesus. And I need, uh, Sam, will you come help make sure no one hits their head as they're praying? Pastor Henry, y'all pray for them. We break anxiety in Jesus' name. Prophet Tay, y'all pray for them. Bottom uh, left back, uh, like maybe like a pinched nerve, but it's in the it's in the lower part of the left back. Okay, in the lower part of the left back. Anybody having pain there? Okay, you know, Josh, can you just pray for him? You're right there uh, on the aisle. Uh, Father, I thank you. If you want to go, oh, if you want to go over there and help pray for him, that'd be amazing. Father, I thank you. Now, online, we just speak the anointing to you online in Jesus' name, that the healing anointing begins to flow. I hear the Lord say, ringing in the left ear is stopping online. I hear the Lord say, fibromyalgia, it cannot stay. The enemy has said it's your portion, but God said it's not your portion. So we rebuke it in the authority of the name of Jesus. We command pain to go. Someone having kidney stones, the Lord said he's healing you in Jesus. And we curse kidney stones in Jesus' name. We curse it. Go ahead, prophet. Just pray. Y'all just minister to her right there. We curse it. Now, if they pray for you and there's a problem, try to do what you couldn't do. Try to move it. Try to do something. I know internal problems, you cannot check them. And my, my prophets and people praying, if you get any, like, hey, it left somebody, let us know. We want to hear about it. Come on, y'all. Keep Stay with us. Now, listen, when we're prophesying, we can't get tired in the prophetic. You, get, you don't have a mic, do you? Her shoulder? Yours? Who's, no, whose was it? Oh, how long did you have pain or what was going on? Two years. You dislocated. And what happened when they prayed? Come on. She said it's not straining like it was. Two years. Come on, Jesus. See, this is activation. This is what happens when we activate. Amen. And you that are online, the same presence of the Lord that's moving here in bodies is moving right there in your home. You begin to thank the Lord for your healing right there. In Jesus' name, we send the anointing right now into bodies and minds. And we say, be healed in Jesus' name. Be free in Jesus' name. We release the anointing of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. What you reveal, you heal. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for the spirit of revelation. And we thank you for the working of miracles and the gifts of healings. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Y'all need to prophesy to him, too. I really sense the Lord wanted to encounter him, that it's a night of encounter for him. In Jesus' name. All right, if y'all are praying, remember, we're just releasing the anointing and then let the anointing do the work. I want to do one final activation in about two minutes. Someone sty in your eye. We release healing. Brittany Ambrose online. I speak over your both your digestive and your immune system, and I command them to be healed in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for the power of God in Jesus' name. Uh, we just thank you, Lord, that you're flowing even on uh, YouTube right now. Let the power of the Holy Spirit flow. Okay, I want to do one more activation quickly. I need 10 volunteers. So five and five, 10 volunteers, and I want you to come stand here. You, my prophets can help me gather 10, and you're going to face each other. So make me two lines, like back to the stage. Yeah, just like that. Five this way and five in front of them. Five this way, five in front of them. 
Okay? Yeah, line them up where they're facing. Thank you, Xavier. Okay, here's what we're doing. We are prophesying, and our activation is going to be according to the parts of the body. Because one of the ways the prophetic works is symbolically. The Bible says in Hosea that God speaks through similitudes or likenesses or images. So we're prophesying through parts of the body. Let me give you an example, okay? Um, let us, let's say uh, the elbow. The elbow is what creates movement in the arm. We know that the arm of the Lord, when the arm of the Lord moves, justice comes. Uh, when the arm of the Lord moves, movement comes, momentum comes. So if I was prophesying to Ricky, I'd say, uh, Ricky, and I'm using an elbow. With this, that's my example. Uh, Ricky, I believe God is bringing swift movement into your life. The Lord says things will not be stuck. There will not be an obstruction. The Lord says his justice is going to move very swiftly for you. That things that have been held up are going to be released in Jesus' name. Uh, if I was saying the foot, uh, you know, the Lord says he's going to place your feet in ordained places and spaces so i want you to uh you're gonna ask the lord give me a body part you're not let me be very clear we're not prophesying to their actual body part we're using a body part as a jumping off okay as a picture as a prophetic picture who who up here is nervous <laughs> you got this okay you got this what side wants to go first this side all right. I was going to see who said they want to go first and make the other ones go first. So we're going to go this side first. Okay. So at home in here, this is our final activation line. We're prophesying through body parts. Okay. So uh, a hand, a foot, an elbow, the eyes. The, I mean, there's so many. So all you're doing, you're just asking Holy Spirit. Okay. So this side is going first. Now, a um, couple ways you can hear depends on you. Again, I think for me, sometimes in this thing, I might hear before I even pray. It's like right now, I'm, I'd be listening. But when I pray, if I'm not hearing, I might touch the person. They're comfortable. I found like hands can be like antennas, you know. That's why a lot of times witchy people want to touch you all the time. Right? Some of y'all probably got nervous. I'm like, oh, the activation, people are touching. Listen, y'all got enough Holy Ghost. Y'all got enough Holy Ghost to deal with the devil, okay? So as you listen, be intentional. Sometimes even in a moment like this, it's not the volume of which you pray, it's the listening. So this side's going to go first, same drill. We're going about 30 seconds of listening and then about 30 seconds of prophesying, okay? And then we're going to switch. Y'all ready? You ready on the end? How old are you? 21. You, have you prophesied before? First time. All right. We're going to pray for her, okay? Lord, the prophet, you're back there as we're praying. You pray for her. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray. We thank you for the word of the Lord that you're speaking to your people in Jesus' name. We thank you, oh God, for activation right now. Now, just ask the Lord to give you a picture of someone, the person you stand across, a pictorial prophecy using the parts of the body, eyes, ears, mind, feet, hands, whatever it is. Father, we thank you. Ten seconds, and we're going to start going, okay? Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, y'all go. That's good. She's giving a good word. She's using feet and the, the feet of them that carry the gospel. I like that. She's prophesying no fear. All right, y'all. Just a few seconds left. Oh, wow. You, you, you finished first. Well, second. She beat you. All right, y'all. Five seconds. Let's start wrapping now, okay? All right, y'all. Start wrapping. Okay, so, so tell us, because you were standing here. Tell us about this. First time, I'm so proud of you. First time, and she did amazing. All right, come on. Tell us what happened. And so basically, she prophesied um, the object was an arm, and she said, she said, um, God has seen you to a season. You got to be careful about who you allow him to be connected to you and you putting your arms around because he's separating you. My and, God. And I mean, that was. She's prophesying, preaching. Amen. All right. 
Now it's this side's turn. I'm going to make it harder on you. You're going to get a five-second listening and then go. So I'm going to count five. So you start listening right now. I'm going to count five, and then you just start to go. This is called jumping into the prophetic, okay? So five seconds and go. Let's go. Five, four, three. You're looking for a partner word. Two, one, go. Go. Jump into it. Go. Come on. Jump into it. Jump into it. Jump into it. Come on. Go, 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 go. You got about 20 to 30 seconds here. Come on, y'all, pray for them. Pray for them. They're doing good. Wow, she gave a quick word. Was it a good word? What body part did she use? Your mouth. What did she say? Amen. The Lord's going to use her mouth to speak with boldness. That's a good word. Father, I just thank you for the anointing. The Lord says, daughter... Even your family is coming under my glory in this hour. You felt isolated. You felt alone. But the Lord says, I've heard the cry even in the wilderness. And your family is coming in, said the Spirit of God. Father, just bless her as she stepped out in faith and prophesied tonight. Bless her in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. All right. Did you, was it a good word? What did he tell you? Um, about, oh, here you go. Yeah, come on. The people online want to hear you. The tongue, about the power in my mouth, um, that God backs me when I speak and the accuracy that comes out of my mouth. That's a good word. Was that encouraging? Amen, amen. All right, y'all, give them a big hand. Amen. Y'all did good. Y'all did good. Can I have a musician? Can I have a musician? So, listen, these were words not, we were not foretelling the future. We were not predicting what was going to happen to people. What we were doing was simply encouraging people in the prophetic. How many of you were encouraged tonight? Amen. Now, we've had an amazing online audience, been on the whole night. Online audience, you've got homework. You've got to be sending that picture uh, that you got, that word through a picture to somebody in your family. Did anybody get a response while we've been in here from someone you sent a word to on your phone? Yeah? Anybody? Uh, was the response like, really, anyone get an amazing response? Yeah, what was it? Come on, he said, I love you, brother. I totally received this. Amen. You got a response already? What was it? Wow, you must have known what I've been wrestling with. I've been wrestling with some stuff. That's a good word. Amen. Uh, people all over the room. Yeah, what, what was it? Beautiful friend, Eunice, your word from the Lord is on time. I have been crying out to him in such need here. Now listen, watch that. It was on time. Did, did an angel come in the building and say to do that? I'm, I'm teaching something. No, an angel did not come in the building. I literally had the idea on the spot. I had more activations written down. I went off script, had that idea, said, let's do that right now. That was the gateway. All we've been doing tonight is a gateway. I'm not saying this is the only way you prophesy. I don't use most of these activations in this manner in my everyday prophetic life. But these are diving boards into the prophetic. These are ways to activate you. We'll do another night like this and we'd go further. And many of you that are online, I've seen all your comments. On, I wish I was there. I wish I was there. You know, we may, through technology, get a way we can be more engaged and interactive with you. And when we do this next time, we'll let you all know so you can be here. But how many were blessed and encouraged? 